Hello everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers and I have a stamp and show and tell to share with all of you. Today I'm creating a project for the Inspirations Blog Hop for November and our challenge that was given to us was color challenge with greens or a clean and simple card. So I kind of strive for both and I'm going to show you the card I made. So I'm going to duplicate this card for you. And I've done a few samples, so I'll show you the differences. But we're going to make the card first, and then I'll go through the differences. So I decided to use Garden Green and Soft Seafoam Green as the two greens I chose to craft with. And I'm using the Whimsical Woodlands embossing folder from the fall mini catalog. I'm using a tag that comes from the designer tags um, sets of die that's in the annual catalog. I'm pulling in the Garden Green Ribbon, which is in the mini catalog, and I'm using these fun leaf trinket embellishments that are also in the fall mini. So if any of these fun little fall mini items are something that you say, ooh, I'd really like to get that, uh, be sure you're shopping soon because the catalog will be ending at the very beginning of January and um, a lot of these things may re be retiring, so you want to scoop them up before they're gone. All right, so let me go ahead and get started with our card. So like I said, I'm using Garden Green and Soft Seafoam. I decided I wanted to do a nice simple sketch. Okay, so here's my inside piece, which is white. Then I have two pieces, two layers of Soft Seafoam, and they're going to mount on top of each other, so they just kind of frame the one below, but it's color on color. So my card base is 8.5 by 5.5, scored in half. My first layer is three and three quarters by five. That's just going to be my mount. And the one that I'm embossing is three and a half by four and three quarters. Okay, so that's the basic sketch right there. And then we're going to add the die cut tag for our sentiment. And then we'll put all the little embellishment here. Okay, so a simple sketch, but now we're going to dress it up. Okay, so the first thing I did was emboss with my Whimsical Woodlands embossing folder. Okay, so the first sample I did is this one here, where I simply embossed the panel, just like straight embossing, you put it in, you run it through your machine, and then I layered up my panels. So that's a nice, simple card, okay? The second one I did, I did the same thing, except for this time, I used my Wink of Stella brush, and I added Wink of Stella kind of to alternating trees, just to add some sparkle to the background, but not everywhere. Okay, so now the third one I did, I'm actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink the embossing folder. So for this one, I'm going to open my folder, I'm going to open up my garden green ink pad, and what I do is I apply ink right to the inside of the embossing folder. Now I've done this before, right? This isn't a new technique, but sometimes it's new to you and it's kind of fun. And don't worry, yes, it's getting ink on your folder. But when you're done, it's a water-soluble ink. Just take it to the sink, rinse it off, and dry it. You'll be good to go. Okay, so here's that. And then I just put my cardstock panel down inside, close my folder, and then I'm going to take that to my embossing machine and run it through. Now, after it's run through, I'm going to have this panel. Okay, so you can see how the embossing and debossing images really show up when you add that ink to the panel. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this version together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this panel here with my liquid adhesive. Because my embellishment is kind of chunky, I don't want to put dimensionals on these layers. So if I can get my adhesive to start running near the end of my bottle. Come on, work with me today. Sometimes there's a glob in the end. There we go. Now let's see if I can get it to come out. There we go. So I'm putting a light layer of adhesive on the back of that embossed panel. That's just going to go down on the matching color mount. And then that one again is just going to go down onto the front of my card. So a layer on a layer right on the front of my card. Okay. Now, for the inside, I'm going to stamp sentiments from the very best occasion stamp set. These are the holiday greetings. Mm -hmm. And this set is in the fall mini catalog as well. So if you like these sentiments, make sure you scoop up your set soon. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put this one on the inside. Just like that. Now, like I said, we do the tag, right? So I've got my tag. I've cut it in vellum because I don't want to hide the, the behind the scenes images of that embossing folder, but I can use vellum for my tag. So I pre-cut my tag and now I'm just going to stamp my sentiment on my tag and because I can see through my block I can place it just fine. Now vellum takes a little while to dry with the ink so you need to be careful that you don't um, uh, blur the ink with your fingers or you can heat set it which is what I'm going to do really quick right now. So I have my heat tool and I'm just going to heat set the ink real quick. I'm going to burn my finger, so I'm just going to hold it. Doesn't take too long. I just want to set the ink. That should be good. Okay, so that's a really quick way to set ink quickly. Okay, if you have time, just let it sit and dry, you know, for a while on its own. It'll be fine. All right, so now I'm going to come in and add my tag to my card. So I'm just going to use glue dots, and I'm actually going to put two on. I just push it down and pull it up. Okay, so I've got a dot here and a dot here on the back side, and I'm just going to put that right on my card. Okay, so now for my little embellishment. So I have some of my garden green ribbon. It's about five inches, and I've got one of my leaf trinkets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my piercing tool. That's why it's on the table. And I'm going to kind of thread the ribbon through this little hole. Now, obviously the ribbon is wider than my little opening, so you need to be careful when you're using your piercing tool not to pierce your fingers, but it's not that difficult. Just give it a little patience and you can get it through there. Once you get a chunk through, and if you're good about not pulling it back through like I just did. All right, start again. Now oh, I've already done a bunch of these so I know it can be done and we will succeed, I promise. Okay, so just push it through until you get enough on the back side and then pull it through. Okay, that's it. So just pull through. Okay, so now I've got my ribbon and then I'm just going to tie a simple not just a single knot. Pull that tight however you want it. Then I just fold it up in half. I do this often with my ribbons. Fold it in half, bring in your paper snips, and give it a trim. Okay, so I trimmed them both at the same time, and now I have a nice petite bow on my little trinket. Okay, and then I'm just going to use a glue dot to adhere that to my card. Just one right there behind the bow knot behind the center of that little trinket. And then I'm just going to put that here for just a little embellishment. Okay, so that's fun. Now the next one I did, this one I actually used the white craft ink, okay, and I used a sponge dauber. And what I did this time is on the inside of the folder I used my dauber to apply some white craft ink. And I know it's very faint, but I've got white craft ink on some of my trees in the background. So it's a very subtle finish, not super heavy like this one, just a nice, light, subtle finish. Okay, and then one more version of the same card. This one is a nice, thick, white coating. And what I did there was I inked up my folder with Versamark this time. Okay, then I dusted it with white embossing powder, heat set it, and I end up with this very white background scene, but you can still see the green coming through on the dry embossed portions. So, simple sketch, lots of different ways you could dress it up or leave it nice and simple, but I thought that was kind of fun and it's a technique that I like to do often, um, but hadn't shared lately. So I hope you enjoyed the project today, everybody. I hope you'll enjoy the blog hop. Make sure when you go over to the blog, you can just use the next button and hop along to all of us who crafted today and see all of our different 
green themed cards and our uh, clean and simple projects. Uh, remember you can subscribe here to YouTube. You can just click the button below. You Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked what we did today. And if you're over on the blog, give me a comment over there. Let me know you visited. And if this is something you might try. Right? Alright everybody. That's all I'm going to say for now. Have a great day. Enjoy the hop. And do some fun stamping. Bye-bye.